Geobyte. Welcome to Geobyte. Now we know what are the different types of sets. Now we'll see how a set can be represented. This can be represented using Venn diagram. So what a Venn diagram is? So this rectangle box represent my universal set and my drawing is very bad. Still. Okay. So this is my universal set. For example, if I define my universal set as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what are the subsets? I write one of the subset. One, two, three, four, five. And B subset. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then, how will I represent my subset? They are represented in circles. This is my A and this is my B. So, what are the elements in the universal set? It, it contains up from 1 to 10. So, what are the elements in set A? 1, 2, 3, 4, that 5 element in set A and also 5 element in set B. So, this can be written inside this area. This is the intersection area of two circles. So, in the intersecting area, we have the number 5 because 5 is common for both A and B. This is my whole set. A and this is my whole set B. So what are the elements in set B? 5 which is already included in the circle and other elements are 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now I will give you another example. If this rectangle box is my universal set, there is no other, any, any conditions like that all the elements in the universal set should be included in the set A and B. There can be some elements which are not included in the sets A and B. For example, if my 10 is not included, then it is outside. If my 3 is not included in set A, then it will be outside set the circle. Now coming to this. If these three are the sets A, B and C. What is my set A? How will I color it? This is my set A. So we can see that it is intersecting for both C and B. So what is the intersection between A and C? I represent C as this. So what is the intersecting area? It crosses this green and red here. So this is my intersecting area. So I can represent mathematically A intersection of C as A intersection of C. Okay? But here we can see that A and B is A union B. That means my set is A and also my set is B. Only this part if I consider 
then it will be my intersection area because these two circles are intersecting at that point. So, now if I represent B, then considering B and C, which is my intersecting area? This. So, how will I represent it? B intersection C. But we can write as whole A union B union C. This is my union and this simple is my intersection. Now, if you consider A and B, which is the intersecting area? This one, right? So, that is my A intersection B. But there is a thing here. We can see that there is a point here which is being intersected by all three circles. I will represent it with red. See? This point is there for all three circles. So that means it is A intersection of C also intersection of B. So this is my area which is common to both A, B and C. So there are properties as in numbers. We know that A plus B equal to B plus A. This is what we call as commutative property in numbers. That is 5 plus 3 is equal to my 3 plus 5. Neither way. So like this we have properties in sets also. That is first one is commutative property. That is A union B is equal to B union A. We can, we can even verify that by considering a universal set A and B. What is my A union B? A union B also. What is my B union A? B union what is A? A. This circle. So, it covers the shaded region is the same. So, my left hand side and our right hand side is equal. That means it is satisfying commutative property. So, in order to remember what an A union B or a A intersection B is, this is A or B. Whereas this is A and B. It should be either in A or either in B. Or this should be like also in A, also in B. Now, what my associative property is? A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. So, how will I verify it? Let us consider three circles for three sets A, B and C. Then what is, first how will we uh, do the operation? First you have to do the operations inside the bracket. That is B union C. What is B union C? This shaded region B or C. Now we get, we check for B union C. Then what is A union B union C? B union C we got. What is union of A? That is this part. This is my LHS. What is my RHS? I will consider another rectangle with three circles. A, B and C. 
Now we will do this operation that is A union B. What is my A union B? A, this is my A. This is my B. Now this is A union B. Now what is union C? See, we cover the same region. That is the shaded region is the same. So that means it satisfies associative property. Now what is my identity properties? A union none is equal to A. That means it is similar as 5 into 1 equal to 5. Similar to. Because it gives my same element. Same element here and here I get the same set. So how will I represent? This is my null set. So if I have, if I have no elements union with a set, L, uh, set A, then it is A or null. That is A itself. Now, what is my identity set? A union A will also give me A. If this is my A set, A itself with A will give me A itself. That is my identity. Now, coming to fifth one, that is universal set union A is equal to universal set. Now we have the last property that is distributive property. That is A intersection B intersection C can be represent can be equal to A intersection B. We'll open the bracket union B intersection C. So, how will I represent it in Venn diagram? Let me take my LHS. A, B and C. What is my B in the section C? It is this area. So, what is A in the section B in the section C? A is intersecting B at this point. And also this point. But B intersection C is common here. So I have to remove this part. So this is my LHS. So if I come to RHS, what is my A intersection B? A intersection B is this part which is in union with sorry uh, it should be A intersection I am opening the back so A intersection C so that is my this part so it is with the operator union so this area and this area see these are equal so LHS and RHS is equal so we have come to an end to the properties now we have one more thing in set that is another operator A minus B. So that means the elements which belong to A but not belonging to B. So how will I write it? For example, I will give you if my A element is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. B is 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. Then what is my A minus B? That is elements which is belonging to A and not in B. So what is this element? 1 is there in B, 2 is there in B, 3 is there in B and even 5 is there in B. So what is A minus B? That is my 4. That is it is there in A but not in B. So I have a property for B minus A also. Will A minus B and B minus A equal? We'll say that. What is B minus A? Which belong to B but not to A. So, what is B? 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. So, what are the elements in A and uh, A 
That is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So what is B minus A? Which is equal? 1 is there in A, 2 is there in A, 3 is there in A, 5 is there in A. So what are the elements? 6 and 7. So 6 and 7 is not there in A but it is there in B. So is my B minus A and A minus B same? No, it's not equal. So, now, another thing in set is complement of a set. What is a complement of a set? For example, complement of a set can be represented as A dash equal to U minus A. That means, it is there in U but not in A. So, if this is my universal set U, I am having number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And my set A is containing 7, 8, 9. So what is my A dash? A dash is U minus A. That is, it is there in U but not in A. So what are the elements? It should not be in U, A. So that is 1, 4, 5. 2 and 3, which are elements which is there in U but not in A. So, A dash is equal to U minus A and we call A dash as the complement of this set, A. So, there is an important law called B Morgan's law. It is A union B, the whole dash is equal to A intersection, A dash intersection, B dash. So, you can also verify this law using Venn diagram with LHS and RHS and see the shaded region. So, there are two uh, laws uh, related to D. Morgan's law. That is law of double complementation and law of universal. So that means A dash of dash is giving me A set and phi what is phi? Phi is my null set. Phi dash of U, phi dash is equal to U and U dash equal to phi. That means there is no element present which is U complement to universal set. Universal set is the ultimate set which contains all the elements. But what is the complement of that set? There is no elements. So that is my null set. So, this is the end of the chapter set and I will give you another one example to use this Venn diagram and the related problems. The remaining topics will be covered in my next video. Thank you for watching and please do like, share and comment GeoBite.